hello welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here today we're gonna play with the napkins that i won from crafts by diane and that was in the video the last video the one before this one um you can see all of the napkins that i won from diane it was such a huge selection and beautiful napkins and I started to play a little bit without you. And then I thought I would bring you along. Um, and this is what I did. I made tags myself. I bought a 110 pound cardstock from, I think Michael's. It was either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And my printer won't take it. It only wants the 65 pound. So I have to use up all of that 110 pounds. So what I did is I made tags. Um, unfortunately, it's in the white, um, which I typically don't buy the white. But, um, but anyways, that can be backed with coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper, whatever, and then stitched around. Um, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, but anyways, yeah, I cut the tags myself, three by six, and that gave me three tags, on, uh, and then it gave me two belly bands, and, uh, there you go, a couple different sizes of belly bands, but very, very, very similar, and I went ahead and I made these, so, got two tags, and then these are gonna be tuck spots. And all of these will be in my um, farm journal when I made it, make it. But there's something else I want to do with you today. I want to try the faux rice paper and see if we can do that. And um, so you have to have a piece of plastic and some school glue. And if you excuse me for a minute, I need to holler at Holly. Hey, Holly. Can you get that paintbrush that I left in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. And then um, a little cup of water. Yeah. Oh, and a paper plate. Yeah. Boy, I was not prepared, was I? So I have belly bands, I have tags, and these tags here came from Diane as well. And I have a paper bag that I may or may not try something on. So, what I want to do is the faux rice paper. I want to see if we can do that. And I don't need that much water. Well, I give you another one. Hello, people. That's Holly saying hi. I don't know why I wasn't ready. It's just one of those days. So I think I'm only gonna do a half. Well, yeah, I'm only gonna do a half and to see if it works. And if it works, then we'll do a whole one. So you can use regular Elmer school glue I'm going to put a little bit on this styrofoam plate and I brought water in case I thought that it was too thick, which it's not. So I won't need the water. So you're just going to paint your glue. Nice thin coat. So this plastic that I got is from a pad of paper. And uh, put your napkin on it. Glue it on. I'm so excited if this works, which it should. So um, I saw this technique from the treasured page. 
she has some awesome, awesome videos. She puts aromatherapy in her um, glue, which I would have done, except that mine is packed. With everything else in my life, oh, so tired of being packed. So you want to do this um, not heavy-handed because you don't want to rip the tissue. And it is one ply. I guess I should have said, I should have showed you. So there we go. That just goes, set that off and let that dry. And we will do the next napkin. And I will show you. Let's do this. So, you want to separate your napkin from the plies, and they're usually three ply, some of them are two ply. The napkin we just did is just the top layer, I've already separated it, and all you need to do is use your bone folder in the corner and carefully go over it, and you're just flattening out the little dots. It's ready, but I can't get a hold of it. Um, and it usually has the two ties together. There we go. And tissue paper, if you can see, has those indentations, the dots, and you're just smoothing that out. And when you smooth it out, it releases it. And then you have this to make more rice paper out of. Or to do whatever with. Um, so where did I put my tags? Okay. Let's try one of these. I'm just going to cut that down a little bit. So yeah, I, I won from her giveaway. Again, that's uh, Crafts by Diane. And um, a whole bunch of napkins. I hope you saw that video. So I'm using Mod Podge for this. You probably could use that school glue. It's the same. Same, same technique. You could probably use the Mod Podge for the, the rice paper, but, um, but I'm not sure. So how many of you play with napkins? I am just getting into it, and I'm trying to think of all different kinds of things that I can do with napkins. I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and let's do a belly band, and I'm thinking this will be long enough. Now what I do with my bone folder. Ah, it fell. So again, we just rub out the corner. And it releases. And the two plies stay together, which is awesome. Yeah, I have 
on my to-do list a farm journal, which I'm excited to do. And when these napkins came, there's all of this goodness to use for farm journals. So this, I'm gonna cut this belly band down a little bit. And of course it doesn't have to be a belly band. It can be a um, bookmark. It can be a side tuck. I'm just calling it a belly band, but who knows what I will use it for. Won't know until I make the journal and start putting the ephemera together. But these napkins are just adorable. It's sad I'm not going to have those sides in it. So Holly has bad allergies, so I let her stay home from school today. She has a runny nose and a cough, and that's all it is, is allergies. And I had a dentist appointment, and I went, and of course, you know, I took her. I don't, don't leave her home. And um, the, they wouldn't let me leave her in the lobby. And they wouldn't um, let her go back because she's sick. So they canceled my appointment. They wouldn't see me. Can you believe that? I don't. Not me. I don't know what I want to do with the bag. I want to cover it. Do you, aren't these cute? I love this one. This one's my favorite. But I don't know what to do. Should I just do it in the center? Yeah, let's do that. And let's do the tomato and sunflower because I did the other ones for the tucks. But this is fun. It's relaxing. So if you haven't got into napkin play yet, you might want to give it a try, and it's so simple. And I'm going to do it on this side. I mean, there's nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. I'm hoping... My heat gun is patched, so I can't dry the faux wax paper. So I'm hoping that it dries so we can take a look at it together. And I probably should have done a prototype beforehand, but I didn't. And I love the wrinkles in this, so I'm not trying to get this perfect. The wrinkles add to it. The Mod Podge I get at the Dollar Tree when they have it. I went there today, they didn't have any. So I just have that little bottle, but, um, so it's only a dollar 25 for that little bottle. That's going to be cute. I like that. That's finicky. But yeah, I'm trying to think of ideas. See, these are already dry. So 
So we're just going to trim that up. Yeah, you can, you couldn't get a simpler project. And the napkins, you know, you can do your Bible journaling with it. You'll have to go check out the video before this one and see all the beautiful napkins. I already put them away. I probably should have kept them out and showed you again. See how pretty that is? And then you can decorate that if you want to, or just leave it like that. It's so pretty, like just like that. And then putting coffee dyed paper on the back and stitching around it is going to make it gorgeous. I don't know how to edit and I don't have any edit programs. So I will do the coffee dyed paper and the stitching and I will put that at the beginning. Um, my thumbnail picture, I guess that's what it's called. So that will definitely need some decorating. That had too much cut off of it. So let's check this rice paper. Let me set that aside. Yeah, it's still, still wet. All right, I wanna do another one though. How about you? I have a huge mess here. Uh, something on the other side, cause this is the only plastic I have. Don't want the carrots. Maybe we'll do this, this one. I wonder if this will fit. Oh, look at how, yeah, let's do that. So this faux rice paper can be a page in a journal, a whole page in a journal. I feel like there's another layer there. Huh. Let me try another corner because it's showing that it's only two layers, but I feel like there's another layer. Got it. So that's so simpler. I think that's so much easier than the tape. I'm staying in frame. Let me zoom you up a little bit. There. All right, so this is going to be cutting it close. So yeah, it's definitely summertime here in Florida. As always, Florida skipped right over spring. 
Maybe we had a week of spring. <laughs> But yeah, it's so hot. I've been going to the other house and helping Lurch. It's been very hot. Very, very hot. He's been putting up fence. Because he's, he's making his own and he's accumulated a lot of wood. And we had to get some of that wood picked up, put up, so I've been doing some raking and picking up of leaves, we cleared a lot, we bought a house and the lot next door, and we cleared the lot, and uh, I love the wrinkles in this. Um, the lot part is going to be for my husband's cars. and He has a school bus that um, is, you know, like an RV. But he wants to do more to it. It needs floors and, you know, a better design than what it is. He's had that since the early 90s. And it used to be his party bus when he went out to outdoor concerts and all of that fun stuff. So now it needs to be converted into more of an RV for us. And so uh, the lot will be his area with his garage and all of his toys. Oops, I just tore a little bit, but it's on the corner. And just be careful, but if you do, you can always do a little patch. I wish I had my heat gun so I could get this to dry quicker. But this one will be, oh, this is almost dry. Almost dry. So let's set that aside. And let's see, what do we have here? What else do we want to do? And the way I made these is that they're in squares and I put it on one of the belly bands and then just cut it in half. So that is what we have there. What other ones? What do I have that I haven't used yet? I love these sunflower ones. I'll probably do another tag in that. Let's do a tag in that. I have a mess over here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they dry quickly. The bag is almost dry. Yeah. All right, let's do a tag with this. Hopefully the rice paper will be dry. We'll do a tag and we'll do a tuck. How's that?
So how is the weather where you are? And where are you? Let me know. I'm wondering if anybody still has spring or if everybody is uh, got summertime weather now. I wish spring would last longer. So yeah, so after the dentist, I made a few stops. I went to Goodwill and found some stuff. Our Goodwill isn't like what I hear everyone else has. Um, I don't see bags of stuff, you know, grab bags. Everyone talks about how they get grab bags at Goodwill, but this Goodwill doesn't have grab bags. I hate that the carrot patch is cut off. I need some new Mod Pods soon. But, um, so I went there and then I went to Salvation Army. All of these are like right next to each other where my dentist is, um, is in the next town over. So I don't get to go to these places except for when I go to the dentist. So I made those stops. I went to the Salvation Army and didn't find anything there. And then I stopped at the Sheriff's Youth Ranch thrift store and I found a bunch of stuff there. And then I went to the Dollar Tree up there. I'm still looking for a Dollar Tree that has dyes. I've been to so many Dollar Trees. I'm going to let that dry. And none of them have any dyes. Let's check this out now. It's almost dry. Should we try it? It peels. Yeah, it's not dry enough. It peels nice and easy. You can see where it's lifting. I wish it was dry. I want to show you. I should have did one already. I'm sorry, guys. I should, I should have done one. I will let this dry, and I will show you in my next video. My, How about my Thrifty Thursday? My next Thrifty Thursday. And um, I just did a patch job. Do you see how easy that was? Um, but, yeah, I'll show you in my next Thrifty Thursday. How's that? And... Uh, so not a very good video if you don't get to see the end result, now is it? But hopefully I gave you some inspiration. Let's see, these are still wet. Let's see what we have here. Do I have enough for my journal or should I keep going? I like that, that's cool. Yeah, I think I have enough. Need to do some decorating on that one. And I'll, I'll come up with something. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. And I should have done one ahead of time to show you. But, um... I'll show you on my next Thrifty Thursday, so check that out, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.